Hey guys, what's up? My name is Trixie. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be using the Bretman Rock palette from Wet n Wild. Um, this is called Jungle Rock, and I'm so excited to play with all these like jewel tones. You know, we have a lot of fun colors happening over here, and I'm really excited to dig in. So let's get started. We're going to start with eyes since predominantly this is an eye, like the. I kind of base this whole uh, video off of this Bretman Rock palette. This is going to be like a first impressions. I've never done a first impressions kind of video before, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to start off with putting a base on. So I'm going to use the NYX HD Studio. Alright, so now that I've put a base on with my concealer, I'm going to actually zoom you in a little bit so you can see the eyes a little bit better. Very close and intimate. Hello. Are you? So let's get into this Bretman Rock palette. I'm super excited. There's no like medium transition shade in this palette, so I'm gonna just kind of mix Coconut Connoisseur and Ape Shit. So I'm thinking what I'm doing, thinking of doing for this look. Hopefully it won't get out of control, but the plan is to do something light. <laughs> um, I know Bretman isn't really known for a light, airy style of makeup. But that is kind of like my style and what I'm feeling right now. I really want to do something like a springy, because it is spring now in Texas. The blue bonnets are on the side of the highway, um, which is, by the way, like my favorite time of year. Um, I love seeing the blue bonnets on the highway and that's when I know spring is here. Um, so I kind of want to do like a spring look. Um, I, and I'm definitely, I think I'm going to dip into that pink in the palette. Alright, so here's my plan. I think I'm going to go into this uh, Flaming Ho shade all over the lid. And then I'm going to go into Liar and a Cheetah um, and put that over the lid as well. I'm going to get the Morphe, use the Morphe M507 brush and I'm just going to start building the pink. Not bad. Looks like a little more pigment, but not bad. I'm gonna blend this out with a um, uh, NYX 16 brush and then go to the other side. I'm gonna go into Laia, Liar, and a Cheater. A Cheetah, sorry, the pun. I'm just gonna swatch it and see what it is. That looks actually really pretty. It's a lot more fiery than I thought it was gonna look like. But uh, it's got a beautiful sheen to it. Since I noticed that there was a more fiery undertone to this shade, I'm going to take uh, that Morphe M507 brush and I'm going to dip into uh, Pounce on them, this red over here. And I'm going to put that on the lid. Alright, now I'm going to add that Liar and a Cheetah shade on the lid. Not bad. I like the, the sparkle that it has. All right, so now I'm gonna take the King of the Jungle shade, that really like sh high shine gold. I'm gonna take that on my finger and I'm gonna tap off the excess on my hand. Cause I don't wanna get too carried away. And I'm gonna take this just like really like right here where the pupil is and I'm just gonna really concentrate that right here I'm not going really anywhere else with it and I'm gonna use the other finger to blend the edges it's really pretty it looks <laughs> I'm kind of getting like Gryffindor vibes now uh, there is um, quite a bit of fallout though just so you know um, that doesn't bother me and now I still want a little bit of kick like right here, like in this area right here, like almost like a spotlight eye. I'm gonna use the shade Prowl, which is a much whiter gold. Just as glittery though. And I'm gonna take this on that small brush and I'm gonna really concentrate that right here. All right, so now I'm kind of good with the eyes. I'll come back to it later. Um, and finish up the lower lash line. I'm gonna just wipe off the excess glitter that fell on my face. 
It wasn't a terrible amount of fallout, but there's definitely some glitter on my face. We're gonna zoom out and we're gonna do the face. I'm gonna start with the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. I'm gonna use this Real Techniques Expert Edge Large Brush. Dried down. What? I've never seen this foundation do this before. This does not look good. Oh my god. I don't like how this foundation looks with this eye look. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna take this Dream Urban Cover foundation in the shade 215 Almond. I don't know what happened. Why did it look like that? It looks really gross and patchy and dead looking. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this foundation on top because I know this foundation's a winner. So now I'm back and I have averted the foundation crisis that had occurred. I feel like maybe I put too much on, dried down a little bit. I'm not, I'm completely unsure of what just happened. Um, but now that I have my foundation on, I'm gonna go ahead and put concealer on as well. Uh, I'm gonna take the NYX HD Studio concealer in the shade Fresh Beige. And I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes. Uh, I don't know if you guys don't know this about me, but one of my pet peeves is foundation lips. I absolutely hate them. All right, so now that we put concealer on, I'm just gonna blend out my concealer on my under eyes. And we can just start adding the lower lash line. We can finish the eyeshadow look. All right, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that flamenco shade again and I'm just gonna concentrate this here on the outer corner. I'm gonna leave this part of the eye open. So much for like light and airy and natural, right? <laughs> I mean, is this tight? I mean, I don't know. I still think I still qualify this as a spring look, right? So for this inner corner shade, I think I'm gonna do something a little different. It may look terrible. I'm gonna take this in a Conda shade right here. It's like a minty shade. And I'm gonna concentrate that right here. Oh, that's a little disappointing. Hmm. Cause it looks a lot brighter in the pan. Uh oh. Well, okay. I'm gonna take it off. Yeah, I don't really like that green shade. Uh, granted, it is kind of hard to do green shades, especially kind of like that light green pastel shade. It's not easy to pull off, um, and it's not easy cre to create. So I'm just gonna go back into that flamingo shade, mix it with pounce on them, and I'm gonna put that here. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that uh, King of the Jungle shade, that really shimmery gold. I'm going to touch a little bit here, just a little bit, and then blend it up. So I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here, Don't Be Lion. And I'm just going to put that on the inner corner. Alright, so now that I've given my foundation time to settle, I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, cream blush. This is the only cream product that I have um, like kind of in the lineup right now, so that's why I put this one first. I'm just going to use an e.l.f. stipple brush. And this is an AOA cream sheer blush in the shade Charm. And this is really pigmented, so I'm just going to take some, put it on the back of my hand first. And then I'm just going to apply here. See, this is why, this is why we tap on the back of our hand first. Cool, we're just gonna go with it now, I guess. It's part of the look. You're gonna shoot this out. We're gonna try. Uh, this is the e.l.f. powder brush. I'm just gonna, oh, Jesus Christ. All right, we'll deal with this a little bit later. All right, I'm gonna add some bronzer. And this is the deep bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is the butter bronzer. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques blush brush the brush, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to touch 
towards of the outer parts of my face first and then go in so now I'm gonna add a little bit more blush this time it's a more peachy shade I'm gonna apply it right here this is what happens when I don't plan out my looks they look kind of bad sometimes um, which is not great. <laughs> Alright, so my face is feeling a little bit dry and I think it's because of this foundation that I put on earlier uh, because my uh, Dream Urban Cover never really feels dry on me so and it's also affecting like how things are blending out on my skin so I'm gonna take a little bit of the Card Candy Priming uh, Hydrating Primer Mist to just see if that will kind of get things refreshed again all right while my face is drying I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my brows I'm gonna take the uh, Maybelline brow fast sculpt in the shade I think it's in the shade like dark brown or something black brown <laughs> I think I want to leave my brows is like that maybe yeah, I think I want to leave my brows like that. I'm going to take this e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Liner in Shade Coffee. And I'm just going to line my lower lash line. Obviously, my skin needs a little bit of powdering. Yeah, wait, wait, I was going to put on highlighter. Before I powder, let me put on some highlighter. I'm going to use this Morphe M510 shade, uh, a brush. And I'm going to use Physician Formula Shimmer Strip in the shade Vegas Strip and I'm just going to highlight the high points of my cheek. So I'm going to add mascara. This is the Telescopic L'Oreal mascara. I'm going to take the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Okay. This is in the shade a Naturally Neutral. I'm just going to take some on the cap. I'm going to use this AOA Studio F19 brush. And I'm just gonna tap off a lot of the excess. And I'm just gonna apply the powder where I need to. So last but not least, there is a Jungle Rock lip gloss that is in the collection as well. I only picked up the shade Fearless because that was the only one that kind of like really called to me. The rest I felt like I already had in my collection and I didn't need it. So this was the only one that I picked up. It doesn't really smell like anything. Am I gonna just look like, should I just, okay, so this is more of a topper. That was a little bit more opaque. So let me get a lip gloss, a lipstick, and then I'll apply the gloss. I grabbed the lipstick, the L'Oreal lipstick in Wisteria Rose. And it's a very bright pink, but we're not gonna be using like exactly how it is in the tube. I'm just gonna pat it on and then blend it out. Right now that I have that base on, I'm gonna go ahead and use that jungle. What? The... What the hell, bro? I think the stopper came out. Oh my god! <sighs> sure, that's just great. Mhm. Mm what? Okay. Well, the stopper is back now. I think he got stuck in the lid. <laughs> that's really weird. I'm just gonna apply the gloss that's on my finger. Not bad. All right, so I think that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and do some close-ups so you can see the makeup. All right, so I thought this video was gonna go much smoother. Um, I had like a malfunction with like my foundation and then things started like looking cakey and I don't know what happened. So, but anyways, aside from that, my thoughts about this palette. Ultimately, I'm kind of like 50-50 uh, on this palette. Um, that that uh, pink shade, I mean, I used it a lot. I really like that shade. But do I think that it's a palette that you really need to go out and buy? If you're somebody like me who has a really huge collection already of eyeshadows, you don't need this like you really don't like be honest with yourself <laughs> you don't need this um but you know if you want to support Bretman, i would say that these shimmers really do kind of like they are kind of like worth it um but 
it's up to you ultimately um if i would i go and rebuy this no i would not i already have it so i'm gonna use it but i wouldn't rebuy it um, i'm gonna try it out more again in the future and see what other looks i can come up with see if i change my mind um but for, for first impressions no i would not rebuy this Sorry, Bretman. I love you and I love supporting you and that's why I bought this, but thank you guys for watching <laughs> watching me flounder and fail. Um, I had a really like a nice, calm, relaxing time. It's a good time to like chill out um, with everything that's going on. Um, so I hope that you also had some enjoyment watching me flounder and fail. Um, hopefully it doesn't look as bad as I think it does. But if it does, well, you know, it's a learning curve. Everybody has those bad makeup days. So let it be a learning lesson to you. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, like, subscribe, and all of that shit. Um, and just have a great day. Thank you guys. Have a good one.